This is Michael Muller. Michael is a Hollywood photographer. His photographs have appeared in magazines, on album covers, in ad campaigns, fashion editorials, movie posters, and gallery exhibitions. He's shot portraits of countless famous actors and actresses and musicians and is known around the world for his work. But in recent years, his photography took a turn and he went from images of those who are famous to those who are feared. Michael became a shark photographer. He's photographed every major species, been outside the cage with several great whites, captured images in all parts of the world. I was lucky enough to join him on a trip to Mexico in search of the one species feared more than any other, the great white. The island of Guadalupe is a volcanic island located off the coast of Mexico. This isolated and prehistoric looking location is world famous for white shark interactions. With a small population of only a few hundred people on the island, forming small fishing villages, the waters here belong to the sharks. The tuna and seal populations on the island draw the sharks in during the summer to feed, and after an 18 hour crossing from the mainland, we were in another world. You know, I grew up, I saw Jaws and, and uh, surfing in Northern California in the San Francisco Bay Area where there's a lot of great whites that we surf with. And I had a huge fear of sharks my whole life. And about 10, 11 years ago, I got an itch to come see a great white, photograph a great white. And I actually came here to Guadalupe. I remember it like yesterday, the five minutes in the cage, the great white coming out of the darkness and swam by me and I locked eyes and I'm like, I see you, you see me. And I was sort of hooked from that moment on. Like, look, I know I have a gift in photography, so I'm going to take that gift and I sort of got tunnel vision and do whatever I can to help sharks. Well, I, I think people are ruled by fear for the most part. So, you know, a surfer gets attacked. One surfer gets attacked by a shark and, uh, and you know, all the alarm bells go off and let's go kill every shark. Uh, whereas, you know, a car hits someone how many hundreds of times a day, people aren't going after you know, the car manufacturers, you killed someone. It's like, surfers know the risk, we're in the ocean, there's animals in the ocean, uh, but the reality is more people are killed by dogs. Mike is also introducing his daughters to sharks. His eldest, joining us on one of her many great white trips. Um, at the beginning, it was kind of nerve-wracking, like it wasn't, but it was fun. And one of my friends from school came, so. Do your friends at school think you're crazy? Yeah. Do you have a favorite shark? I like the little lemon sharks. <laughs> you excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, they're my kids. I, I wish, you know, it's it's funny because it's, it, unless, you know, people ask me why, you know, it's it's so true. If you, if you love, like, if I, I just have a deep love for the ocean and, and the animals, and, which is why I do what I do. And I just wish I could touch everyone and say, go do something, you know? I think as a society, we're very urbanized. So we're not in touch with nature like we used to be. So people are just, Blind, blinders on, they have no idea what's going on. Um, would you ever get out of the cage with a great white? Yeah. Last year I tried to. My dad didn't love me.
Michael is known by another name, White Mike, given to him when he began to take his images and paste them in public places. Taking advice from his friends in the graffiti world, Mike's infamous graffiti is taking sharks to the streets. And then I friends with Shepard Ferry who does wheat paste, you know, campaigns all over with his Obey and he did the Obama campaign and I was like, hey, I've never seen a full color photo plastered everywhere. I'm gonna do a shark. A smiling shark, no hashtag, no www dot whatever, just a shark smiling. So when people are driving by they see a smiling shark. So I started putting that up all around the world. Everywhere, New Zealand, Ireland, top of, uh, top of Kilimanjaro. <laughs> I was always like, when he would put the posters up on like the sides of the streets and stuff, I was always so scared of that. So once when my uncle was in town, he like he like somehow got like a siren and stuff, and I got so scared. So and so I hid in the back of the trunk and told my dad to hide under the car. There was one like right on the side of the our freeway. Sharks draw people from all professions, from all worlds, and in this war for their survival, in an ever-changing ocean, it is the assets that enter this world and begin to fight for sharks that give us the most hope. If we keep getting people like Mike, who can take images of these animals further, to people who would otherwise never see them, then we may just win. The only way we will save what's dying on this planet is by making people fall in love with it because people fight for what they love. <laughs>